I've known John Z for about 18 years. I always admired him as a rapper. He was one of the first MCs from England to rap in their native accent. In the 80s and the early 90s, there was like a strong tendency for MCs to mimic the American accent. But John Z was from East London and proud of it, and he rapped the same way that he spoke. Before we had YouTube and social media, the only way you would get known is if you got on the stage in clubs and stole the show. And the first time I met John Z, or the first time I saw him, he was doing exactly that. I break the long arm of the law in three places. Young black males don't beat cases. Too many cheating racists who prefer to remain nameless. Killing blacks on a regular basis and saying that he used his shoelaces. I wanted to get to know John Z and a lot of the other British rappers that I admired and I thought the best way to do that would be to actually do an exhibition of them and uh, paint all these rappers and DJs and get them together in the gallery for the private view. So as artists in residence at Bedford Hill Gallery, I put together a show called Open Mic from meeting John Z and putting on that show. We developed a close working relationship and. We've been working with each other ever since and to this day John C is my oldest client and one of my oldest friends as well. We work together annually on Breaking Convention, designing all of the paraphernalia and also putting together the t-shirt designs for the merchandise for the tour. John Z is an associate artist at Sadler's Wells and Breaking Convention is one of the events that he directs for them. As well as Breaking Convention, he also conducts a workshop called open art surgery and at the end of each workshop which is only a week long all of the performers perform in front of an audience at Sadler's Wells also the pieces are critiqued there and then at the end of the show Aside from painting, sculpture, the graphic design and the illustration work I do, I also developed a passion for filmmaking. And the whole filmmaking side of my work is something I'm really, I'm really keen to expand and continue to use not just strong visuals but also strong music and strong poetry. Of all of the portraits that I've painted, there are two people that figure the most, and that's John C.D. and MC Ty. I've done a lot of work with Ty, putting together two album covers. One of the campaigns with Ty included a painting and a sculpture. The second campaign was more of a traditional illustration, but instead of using computer-generated imagery, we went old school and got the paper out and cut and collaged paper together to make the image of Ty and also paper engineered some 3D type. To me painting's a challenge because I usually start with an image of how I want the painting to look in my mind and then it's the process of doing the hard work that's gonna make that vision a reality and most of the time I'm never able to achieve what's in my mind or I don't have the patience to achieve what's in my mind and that's why painting remains a challenge for me and while I'm still motivated to do it. I've never been able to do a painting that I'm pleased with or I might be pleased with it for a, a while but on reflection I just end up looking at the parts of the painting that could have been better. Recently John C rejected his MBE. He can explain why he rejected the MBE but I do think that um, he's worthy of recognition and this is just my way of recognising John Z. My name's Ben Wachenji, aka Brother Ben, and I'm a filmmaker, an illustrator, a designer, a painter, and also an MC.